newspapers five or so years ago. The attacks always were grouped. The weapon was always a sharp knife. The victim was always an unusually attractive young lady. The newspapers called it the case of Nick the Knife. you tonight. Not very much, that is. Our tale is concerned with a terror that ravaged the city for many months. It was solved finally by your good friend, Ellery Queen, who's here to tell you all about it. Well, tonight's mystery is the grim tale of a crime that terrified a city. I call it The Adventure of Nick the Knight. Say goodnight here, Lou. Oh, but Gladys, your house is a block away. Oh, you know, Pa. He gets awful mad when I stay out this late with a fella. Oh, I know, but I don't like you walking the rest of the way alone in this dark neighborhood, Gladys. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. Well, good night, Lou. Okay. Good night. Gee. Gosh, it is dark tonight. Well, I sure hope Pa ain't waiting up for me. I don't... Who's that under the tree? Pa. Pa, is that you? <gasps> well, here's the launch, beautiful. Here's where I shove off. Oh, gee, Jimmy. You get on my way, Kathy? It's pretty funny in a waterfront tonight. And you'd care a lot, wouldn't you, if something happened to me? So talk like. Hey, there it goes. Come back, Captain. Jimmy, you didn't even kill. Oh. Recovering consciousness. Oh, oh, dear. In spite of all our warnings, these girls will keep frequenting lonely spots after dark. And he gets them. Ellery, couldn't you help find out who he is? Oh, I wish I could, Nikki. 
course, this fiend, the papers have named Nick the Knife as psychotic, probably paranoid, but that's not much help. As for his victims, they have nothing in common except they're all female and attractive. Uh, I'm afraid, Dad, the best you can hope for is a lucky break. Better come soon, son, or I'll be out of a job. Uh, well, I'm going to bed. Night, Dad. Night, Inspector. Night. Which reminds me. I'm tired. Would you hand me my hat, Ori? Just where do you think you're going? Going? Home. After midnight, alone, Nikki? Oh, oh well, Ori, that's, that's ridiculous. Is it? Come on. I'll see you home. This is the first time we've been out together since you took me home last week. Mm-hmm. We ought to make it a habit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, this new park is beautiful. Ellery. Ellery! Mm-hmm. Oh, never mind. When you're thinking up a new mystery plot, a girl may as well be playing solitaire. What's that over there? There? That's the entrance to the maze. Entrance to the what? The maze. M-A-Z-E. Uh, Theseus killing the Minotaur? Oh, you mean a labyrinth. Oh, in parks they're called mazes, Nikki. A crazy arrangement of crisscrossing paths that get nowhere. This one is enclosed in high walls and has a glass roof over it. Oh, how silly. No, it's fun. There's only one exit to that gate there where the policeman is talking to that... Well, he's talking to Sergeant Feely. Oh, by George, he is. Sergeant! Ah, I'll get him if I go ahead. Nice, though, Miss Porter. Hi, Sergeant. What are you doing here? Not mind the new park. How about you? A nick the knife case. Oh. Uh, the inspector figures the opening of a new park will draw a neck like a fly in a mustard. The place is lo- I mean, it's filled with extra data. Yeah, it's a good thing, too. Sergeant, who is that handsome young cop you were just jabbering with there at the entrance? Huh? Why, he's disappeared. Yeah, I told him to go inside and have a look around. Nice kid on the cot. He's just been reinstated in the force. He stopped a Nazi sniper's bullet a couple of weeks before VE Day and got his honorable discharge. Some hunk of name. I'm sure if you want to meet Officer Indicate Nikki, Sergeant Zeely. Oh, 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 girl, screaming. Next one, I. Come on, Nikki. You stay away. Hold down the other Don't argue, Nikki. Do it. Oh, oh, get your flag, Stop. I told her the next one to die. Give it to me, Billy. Hey, I. I'm going in. Away from me. No, 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 Vicky Dealey. You stay here. This is the only exit from the maze. Nobody's come out since that girl screamed. Next to Nime is trapped inside. We got him. I better whistle for help, too. If anyone tries to get out, shoot the kill. Are you kidding me? Another dead end past this maze. Indica, officer, where are you? Blow that whistle again so I get... Stand still or I'll blow a hole through your back. Drop the gun. Drop it. Okay. Now turn around and keep your hands high. Oh, oh policeman. I thought... Uh, you're, you're indicate, aren't you? I'm Ellery Queen. Inspector Queen's son? Yes. Where's the girl? Have you seen a man? Officer, Officer, for heaven's sake, we're wasting time. The only man I've seen in here is you. How do I know this isn't a trick? Oh, yeah, reach in my pocket. You'll find my wallet and identification. Yeah. Uh, satisfied? Okay. Sorry. Here's your gun, Mr. Queen. Follow me. Did you find the girl? Yeah. Take this turn. Right. Is she dead? No, she's bleeding bad, though. Had to apply tourniquets to both her wrists. Here, through this hedge, Mr. Queen. There she is. Uh, pulse is pretty fair. These tourniquets did the trick off. It's a good work. Thanks. Unconscious. I wonder who she is. I can tell you, Mr. Queen. Her name's Jane Stepley. How do you know? I recognized her. She lives in the boarding house where I room. I've passed her in the hall lots of times. Not much to look at, huh? No, Nick's change is pattern, all right. A daylight attack and a homely girl. I'd better take a look around. All right, but watch yourself, Indicate. Watch yourself. Hmm. Jane Stickley. What he did to your face. Oh, ambulance. Uh, Beely, that you? Uh, Marshal, where are you? Follow my voice, Beely. Say some more, son. Dad, how did you get here so quickly? Right here. Oh, Nicky. The inspector was cruising in a squad car right in the park with... Oh. Stay back, Nicky. Eminence, man. Yeah. Hey, you better get us to the hospital fast. Her name is Jane Stipley, Dad. I can wait. Where's the officer who's here? Indicate? Searching the maze. Uh, Sergeant, did you have any luck at the entrance? Uh, just one guy, Marshal, trying to get out. Who do you think it is? All right, ambulance, man. We'll see you at the hospital. You men. Brings no summers over here. No summers. The hophead, Dad? Guy's in, doesn't it, sir? What a ready little man. 
And look at his eyes, Ellery. Just pinpoint. The effects of the drug he takes, Nikki. Snow Summers. Oh, let me go. You got me wrong. I need a knife to go in. Let me go after the eyeballs. What did you do with the knife? Knife? Not a cape and a strap on me. Let me go, will you? Let me go, uh, let me go. Knife, Dad. I just no. found it on that shrub tossed away. Ooh, what a wicked-looking thing. That's your knife, Snow, isn't it? No, no, no. I didn't cut nobody. Why waste time, Inspector? He's a hot. He was the only one in the maze, so he's nicked the knife. Oh, now, listen. I come here to pick up some pennies, yeah? I won't lie to you. I'm a dip, see? Okay, I'm well, a dip, but I ain't no dame cutter. I ain't some down sound, though, so I think I better face it. This cop's talking. Bring him downtown. He'll talk there. Let go, boys. Oh, let go. Let go, Officer Endicott was another prisoner. Oh, but Ellery, that little man can't be Nick the Knife. He's, he's so jolly looking. Yes. Who's this now, officer? Inspector, I found this one here in the maze. Roosting up in a tree. In a tree? I do, huh? What's your name? Hodges. Joyce K. Hodges. Ellery. Uh, the K is for Kennicott, but I, I changed to K for Kilmer. Joyce Kilmer Hodges. You see, I, I love trees. So. You love trees? Uh, yes. Trees are so green, you know. Hmm? Trees are so green. Yes. Joyce K. Hodges. Ellery, that case in the paper is two years ago. Yes. That's bad. Recall this man's wife left him for another man. Particularly nasty man. Hodges tried to kill her. With a knife. Now look at him. <coughs> yes, um, Mr. Hodges. Hmm? Uh, y- yes? Ever been in a big sort of hospital, Mr. Uh, Hodges? Oh, that, uh, I'm perfectly well now, you know. I see. Do you, uh, recall your wife, Mr. Hodges? Uh, Gloria. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. She was, uh, young, I suppose. Pretty? Uh, very young. Very pretty. Oh, parks, parks. How I love parks and trees. Isn't that tree green? What tree? Hillary, he's looking at me. Take him away. Come on, little acorn. That's it. Count can not only be Snow Summers by Hophead, but Mr. Joyce Kilmer Trees Hodges. Inspector. Right, baby. Now, uh, take it easy, Inspector. Take what easy, baby? The boy just found another one. Another one? Sure there aren't any more. Oh, no, he's the last. One of the boys found him laying under a bush sleeping. Sleeping? Bring him in here. Okay, come on, bring him in here. Is that the man? That tremendous come fat on. man? Uh, uh, look at his hands. He is a brute, isn't he? What's your name? Adolf Lutner. Lutner. What do you do for a living, Glutner? Butcher. But butcher. Yeah. You you working at your trade, Glutner? Right. Laid off. Not for months already. No meat. Uh, no meat. Oh. It's too bad. You uh, enjoyed your work, hmm? Yeah. Sharp knife, cut meat good. But now no meat, no good. What were you doing in here today, Glutner? My head hurts. I'm lonesome. I like see people. Ah, uh, pretty girls, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty girls. Like Fräulein. Ah, uh, me? Ellery. There you are, Blutner. Take him away. All right. Now, friend, the headquarters. Come on. Come on. Well, Dad, it looks like a job. Yep. Unless this latest victim can identify one of the three as her assailant. As soon as Jane Stepney can be questioned, we'll take Summers, Hodges, and Bluton down to the hospital and have a pick out Nick the Knife. Sure, they can't do any harm. Calling Dr. Barrow. I don't like them so close to me. Ah, Nicky, each one is handcuffed to a detective. Here's the doctor. All right, Inspector. Fine. Get those marks on their feet, Bailey. Okay, man. Bring them in. And you three better behave, you understand? No. No, please. Please don't bring them near me. Uh, Miss Stepley. Doctor, somebody, please. No, no, no. No, no, please. just calm down, Miss Stepley. <laughs> May I? Yes, go ahead. Jane. Jane, listen to me. Nobody's going to hurt you anymore. They just want you to look at these three men. That's all. He cut me. He cut me. Now, take it easy, Miss Stepley. We'll have him out of here in no time at all. Summers, step forward. Into the light near the bed. Now, will you take a good look at this man, Miss Stepley? Was this the man, Miss Stepley? I don't know. Take him away, please. Take them all away. I need a shot. I need one bad. Step back, Summers. Take it. Bring Hodges over here. Would you look at this one, please? She isn't a very uh, green tree, is she? Was it this man, Miss Stepley? I... I don't know. I... I, I don't know. Take him aside. Okay. You, Blutner. Nice to watch this guy. 
If I have knife, you do not touch me. Shut up. Just keep him back. Jane, just this last one. It was this big fat man, wasn't it? How can I tell who it was when I didn't see who it was? <laughs> I... I was walking along in the maze when all of a sudden I was grabbed from behind. Somebody very strong. A man's sweaty hand. I screamed and I struggled and then my face and my wrist. And that's nice. My face. They won't let me see my face. Uh, your face will be all right, Mrs. Stepley. I was spoken to the doctors and they say you'll be out of here in a week. And then when you're all rested and healed, a little plastic surgery. I knew it. I knew it. I'm just thinking for life. I knew go. it. We're finished anyway, doctor. Okay, outside. <laughs> Finished is right. Unless the medics can tell us which one of them is next on earth. Or the eminent Mr. Queen can come up with one of his brilliant suggestions. As a matter of fact, I have one. But is it, Eric? No, Dad. You turn Summers, I just and Bluton over the psychiatrist first. I don't want to make this suggestion except as a last resort. <laughs> Come in, son. You too, Nicky. What's up, Dad? Elliot was just going to take me to dinner when we got your call to come to headquarters. Our well, doctors are starving, and they make the knife, Jay. Uh, I was afraid of that. We shipped Summers, Blue Turn Hodges up to the state hospital in Stone with ten days ago, and they've been under observation ever since. We got a lot of fancy reports on it, but nothing that says this guy has nicked the knife. So it's your move, Mr. Queen. Yeah, what'd you have in mind, Maestro? A trap. That? What kind of trap, son? Well, it's obvious that Nick the knife is a normal. He gets murderous impulses. When the impulse seizes him, he's got to use his knife. He can't resist it. What's more, he gets those impulses regularly. All 32 attacks were one week apart. But now it's two weeks since his attack on the step later, girl. He's overdue. If right now, tonight, he thought he was free and had a knife... Well, then I'm glad he's not. Oh, you mean... Yes. We can rig up a trap right at Stonewood State Hospital. Now, let's see. It's 7 o'clock now... A fast car, we can make it in two hours, so it'll be dark by the time we get there. Darkness, lonely country, woods all around. It's a perfect setup. Say, that is an idea, Inspector. We can take up a big squad. Release, Bluteness, I'm missing Hodges. See that there's some knives around. They could swipe before we turn them loose. Have each one tailed by three or four of our best men. Son, I buy it. Uh, there's only one thing. You bet. You've got everything for your trap up there but the bait, Mr. Queen. A pretty young girl. Why are you looking at me? Oh, no. I should say not. If you have any fantastic idea that I'll... Now, now, Nikki, I've got it all figured out. You don't think I'd put you in any real danger, do you? Now, there's no use talking. I simply refuse to tell you. There won't be any danger for you, Nikki. You don't have to be scared, Miss Carter. Scared? We no, 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 here in this glade all alone under a bright moon at midnight with a nice toting maniac prowling in the woods looking for me. And he expects me to relax. I'm right here behind this bush, Nikki, so close I can touch you. Oh, why did I ever let you talk me into this? Oh, the wolf. Just a farmer's dog, Nikki. Oh. I was there. There's a detective on every tree surrounding this glade. All of us are armed. If the knife hasn't a chance to get near you, dear. I suppose he's given you a written guarantee. Someone's coming. I'm right here, Nikki. Oh, something's gone wrong. You, you got your gun? Yes. Uh, uh, keep behind me. Oh. Here he comes. Hi, Joe. Oh, it's hard to feel you. Tell it. Dad, Dad, what, what is it? Marshal, I just got word. Nick, the knife struck again. Again? Oh, another successful attack. Where, Dad? Back in New York, in the same park where the Stepley girl got it. In the city, but how? 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 Who knows how? Come on. Back to headquarters. <laughs> Petey. Well? What's the hospital say? Girl just died, Inspector. Oh, the poor thing. Oh. <laughs> this is the cop, the father. Hi, it's Officer Endicott again. Hello, sir. Inspector Queen, I've uh, made my written report. I want to hear it, Endicott. Yes, sir. I was making my usual quarter of ten rounds in the park. There in the park. In the maze, Inspector. 
I wasn't in there three minutes when I heard a girl scream. From inside the maze? Uh, no, no, Sergeant. Outside in this case. Uh, I ran out and started looking. Screams had stopped. It took me a few minutes to locate her. Finally, I found her. Frances Kahlberg of First Avenue, Manhattan. And by that time, she bad, bad badly. No doubt, I suppose. It was Nick the Knife's work, Endicott. Both wrists slashed and the girl's face all cut up, just like the others. It was Nick the Knife, all right. What was that time again, officer? She screamed at ten minutes of ten, Inspector. That's it. What's up, Marshal? Ellery, don't tell me... Yes, Nicky. Now I know who Nick the Knife is. But I don't understand it. None of our three suspects can possibly be Nick the Knife. Why not, Inspector? Suppose one of them managed to give his trailers a slip tonight and came back to the city. Impossible, Nicky. Just before we started out for Stonewood State Hospital, Ellery said it was seven o'clock. That it was a two-hour drive by fast car. That means the earliest we could have got there was 9 p.m. Even if you figure that we let them go as soon as we got there, at 9 o'clock, what's the earliest one of them could have got back to the city? The same two hours fast drive, or 11 o'clock. But when was the attack in the city park tonight? At 10 minutes to 10. Over an hour before any of the three could possibly have gotten there. Boy, three suspects and three eliminated. Wait. Oh, what idiots we've been. There weren't just three suspects. There were four. Four? But the only ones we found in the maze after the attack on Jane Stepley were Snow Summers, Trees Hodges, and Butcher Blutner. Oh, no, Sergeant. There was one other man in the maze. Only you'd never dream of suspecting him. The policeman who supposedly found Jane's unconscious body. Officer Endicott. Me, miss? Me, Nick the Knife. Yes. With three of the four possibilities eliminated, the fourth must be guilty. And that's you. How's my logic, Mr. Queen? Tell her, Dan. And the cut can't possibly be Nick the Knife. Nick the Knife began operations in New York City last Christmas Eve. And I told you myself, Miss P, that Endicott had just rejoined the force. He'd stopped a Nazi bullet a couple of weeks before VE Day, and that was May 8th. So, he was in the American Army in Germany, at least until the end of April. So how could Endicott have been making attacks in New York once a week for over 30 weeks beginning last Christmas Eve? Oh. Exit Officer Endicott. I'm awfully sorry. It's quite all right, miss. Yeah, well, where does that leave us? Four suspects and all four eliminated. Why do you say there are four suspects, then? Hmm? Yeah, because there were only four people in the maze during the attack on Jane Stepley. There were five. Five? Who was the fifth, Ellery? Jane Stepley herself. J- Jane Stepley herself? But, Mr. she was the one attacked with a knife. And she attacked herself with a knife, really. No other possible conclusion. Only five people were in the maze during the attack, and four eliminated. So the fifth must be Nick the Knife. Yes, even if the fifth was the victim. It's not so strange. This homely woman, brooding over unattractiveness, became psychotic and began hunting and attacking girls who were pretty. Then what happened? Into the boarding house at which she roomed came a new boarder, a policeman. Now, you yourself, Endicott, told me how you'd keep running into her in the house. That's how you recognized her in the maze. To Jane Stepley's disordered mind, the sudden arrival of a policeman to live in her boarding house meant only one thing, that she was being watched. In cunning desperation, she decided to banish the policeman's non-existent suspicion that she was Nick the Knife by staging an attack on herself, on his beat, where he'd be sure to find her bleeding and unconscious. And she very nearly got away with it, poor thing. (laughs) 